And see how deep it is over here in the in the soft stuff. You guys hear that? That, my friends, ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, step bro. Is the sound of a new adventure. I'm on my deck. Reason being is that today we're gonna be exploring and fishing the creek that is right down yonder. Now, honestly, I know you can't see it. It takes less than one minute to get from here to down there. What are you waiting for? Let's get to it. How y'all doing today? Laying me some eggs? Looking pretty healthy. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, my number one favorite food to eat, single food item, is the egg. It's a superfood. I highly recommend that each and every one of you guys incorporate eggs into your diet one way or another. Shout out to my next door neighbor, Mark. He actually has his backyard cleared out, so makes it a lot easier and tick free to uh, get down to the creek. Now, this power line is pretty low. Almost hit my head on that. I'm not sure if that's a, a safety concern or not, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. And to prove that I was not fibbing, there's my house right here. And this is the creek, little trail. Let's walk through it. That is the creek, my friends. Now, we have two options. Flow's pretty good, it rained a little bit yesterday. We can either go downstream and explore, or we can go upstream. I honestly have not done either of the two options. And when fishing, always like to cast upstream to give my bait a more natural presentation. So you know what? Why don't we go ahead and uh, explore upstream? I'm sure it gets deeper up ahead, but I want to see exactly what species are living in here. So you know what? Uh, water temp's perfect, probably about 74. Let's go ahead and start with a bait that could catch literally everything and make my boy Leo proud. Whoa, shoot, what the F was that, bro? Bro! Someone throwing rocks or what? Usually there's no one down here. Hey! Let's go check this out. I don't want to get pummeled by a freaking boulder here. Anyone over there? I don't see anything up there. Dude, let's go check this out. I can't see what dropped in here, but that was very unusual. All right, we'll have to keep an eye out while we're out here. Make sure nothing fishy is going on. We'd like to give a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, AG1. And this has become a daily part of my morning routine. So simple. Here's what I do every morning. I take out my jar and my shaker, put one scoop into eight to 12 ounces of water, Shake it up, chug it, simple, done, just like that. Great flavor. To me, it tastes mellow, fruity, and a couple hints of earthiness. And my two favorite things about AG1 since I've been taking it, energy and endurance. I feel like physically, I am in the best shape of my entire life. And I credit part of that to AG1, which contains vitamin K2, COQ10, beetroot powder, wheatgrass, manganese, and more, all things that support energy. AG1 will also support your immune health. My friends, AG1 is hands down the best nutritional drink I've ever drank in. Tap my link to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs free with your first purchase. You cannot put a price tag on your own health. All right, as for the bait, we have two options. I'm gonna go with something really teeny tiny. So I'm thinking either a one inch gulp minnow or a uh, probably like a quarter inch gulp maggot. I just wanna see what's in here first of all. So let's go ahead and go with this little maggot guy. Woo, man, that thing smells ripe. Dude, this bait's like four years old. Woo, I don't know if this expires or whatnot, but uh, we're about to find out. Just gonna thread this right onto the jig head. 
Like that. Yep. That's all she wrote right there. Looks like a little maggot to me. Well, might as well drop a cast right here. Right, probably nothing here. So essentially, just as I would any other moving body of water, I'm looking for deep, slow pools. Like I can see the bottom right here. I mean, obviously there's no fish here. So we're just gonna go upstream until we find something a little bit deeper. And if we do, then we're probably pretty likely to find some fish. No guarantees, but hopefully, since this is in my backyard, I'm hoping there's a decent amount of fish activity. Like right here, for example, this could be a potential hole for something to be living. You got the riffles coming right over the rock, then right over it, it gets a little bit deeper. I mean, that's still only about six to eight inches, but you know, deeper than the two inches that I'm standing in. So no luck on that cast. Oh, that's fish! That's number one! Dude, it's tiny! I didn't even feel the bite! Woohoo! What the heck do we have here, guys? Alright. In my backyard creek, this looks like a some kind of sucker, if I had to guess. I've watched plenty of Leo's vids. Hooked perfectly top of the lip, making that sucking sound. This is indeed some type of sucker. Not surprised to see this in the back of a creek. You know, this would actually be good to harvest as a potential bait, but... It's not the goal for today, so see you later, little buddy. There, off she goes. That's species number one. We're going to keep count today, see how many species I can catch. Oh, looks like we had some uh, furry friends visit this area of the creek. Probably looking for crawfish or something. Let the base sink. Slowly jig it on the bottom. Yeah, that water feels good. Yep, 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 nope, nope, nope. Okay, well, that fish was right where it's supposed to be. I, I have no clue what it was, but it was a very small fish. Just working the current. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, it's fighting. We got something, guys. I'll try to land this one. What do we have here? All right, ready? Ah, oh, it's a bigger sucker. Dude, don't tell me there's only suckers in here. But look at that freaking hook set, guys. Right at the top of the mouth. Suckers need a lot of oxygen, so we'll let that one go quickly. Well, throwing it on my Green Series Micro Finesse Ultra Light Rod, 1,000 reel, 10 pound braid with six pound Guggen fluorocarbon. This right here is the ultimate finesse combination. I mean, you guys can see, look, literally look at that. Look how soft and supple that rod tip is. That's why even catching something like a freaking sucker with those soft lips, no problem. Not an issue whatsoever. Make a couple more casts here and then actually up there looks pretty juicy. So hopefully we can find some new species over that away. Little flip right next to the boulder. Ooh, yep, yep. Ah, wait, is it different? Woo, different, different, different. Same. Same. Suckers. Dude, there's a lot of you in here. Now, I will say, guys, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe for there to be so many suckers, the actual creek slash river needs to be relatively clean. I think, the, I think the presence of suckers is a good sign in general. I mean, I've caught a lot. I've only been fishing for like 10 minutes. So I'm sure we're gonna find some other fish species as we continue, because this actually looks pretty decent. Yep, yep, nope, nope. Sucker madness. All right, we're switching baits, guys. No more of this. Dude, I appreciate a good sucker. Hit me anytime, but you know. I'm not going to post a video catching 20,000 suckers. See you later, buddy. Uh, we definitely got fish in here. Now, how do we target a different species of fish? I'll tell you what. Number one, we're going to get rid of these biodegradable. I think they're biodegradable. They should be that biodegradable. And number two, we are going to put on... All right. Water is stained. Fish in a creek. Who knows what's flowing through here? 
we need to whip out the Guggen inline spinner. We got two color options. You know, honestly, I'm thinking the brighter one because the water is actually quite stained. Cloudy day. Get that gold blade going. Check the action. Beautiful blade turning with ease. I've caught a lot of fish in this bait, so eventually this bait will wear out. But for now, still looking good. Make a cast right into the current. And then any fish that lives over here is going to see and feel the vibrations from this bait. Still no name for the bait. So if you guys have a good name for the inline spinner, comment down below. I will take a look at it. Oh, man. Woo! Alley-oop. The slippery rocks. Be very careful. This could easily hold a fish. In fact, I'm gonna have to say, I'm definitely gonna catch a fish over here. Deep, slow pool. Right next to the current. Make a cast into the current. Just work the bait with a nice, slow, steady retrieve in the middle of the water column. Yeah, it's bigger. This one hit me hard. Wait, where is it? Is it, is it on or off? Bro, come on, man. I switched through a bigger bait to avoid you. Oh my gosh. When it stops fighting, that's how you probably know it. Ah, 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 ah. Probably a sucker. Well, okay, suckers will hit the Guggen inline spinner, confirmed. Ah, guys, straight up, I'm telling you right here, we are not ending this video without at least three different species of fish. We've caught one species of fish so far, the sucker, but I am going to keep exploring until I find some cool stuff. I promise you. Just hang in there. This creek is pretty deep. It's flowing nicely. There's got to be something other than suckers in here. Bro, speak of the devil, I just clipped my GoPro. Right at my fingertip, right at my feet, we got species number two! Woohoo! Okay. Hey, I'll take it, guys. This right here is a beautiful creek. Ah, dude, what is this actually? Hold on a second. This looks to be some type of hybrid. I mean, comment down below. Beautiful colors on her, but I am not exactly sure what species of sunfish this is. Gotta be some type of hybrid. The mouth is pretty big. Maybe a green sunfish pumpkin seed hybrid, perhaps? Not exactly sure. Go ahead and let her go. Boop. Off she goes. All right. So the inline spinner is producing something different. I mean, look at this, guys. The flow is nice. It's pretty deep in front of me. I, I honestly don't know how deep because I can't see the bottom, but it's at least a few feet deep. We haven't even explored that far. So if we keep going up, I'm sure we're going to find some juicy stuff. Got a sunfish species and a sucker species. Are there any bass species? And by bass, I know bass are part of the sunfish family. I meant like, you know, large mouth, small mouth, etc. Stripers, snakeheads, musky, pike. Are any of those living back here? Only one way to find out. Oh, snag. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro, I cannot lose this bait. I cannot lose this bait. This is one of my only two prototypes. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. It's a hard stick too. We're gonna have to get in here, guys. Come on. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Almost lost the GoPro. All right, I gotta save my bait, but I can't be losing a GoPro today. You know what? Let's try to get around. I took off the GoPro. This is honestly a good opportunity to see uh, how deep it is, so let's find out. All right. Woo, okay, not too bad. Yep, getting a little deeper. All right. Ah. Ah. Ah, we're sinking, we're sinking. I need my bait. Ah. Ah. 
Okay, sandbar, 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 sandbar. Yes, sir. Woo! All right, let's see how deep it is right here. Along the channel swing. That's not even that deep. Maybe three feet deep right here along the current. That's good. I like that. Now, see how deep it is over here in the in the soft stuff. All right. Oh! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That is deep. That is pretty deep, my guys. Woo oh my gosh <laughs> and that is exactly why you do not underestimate the creeks i mean most of this place is probably very shallow one to two feet deep but bro i took one step off the sandbar one step and i my feet was not touching bottom i literally don't even know how deep it is i'm assuming it's probably like you know it's probably not crazy but it could have easily been six to eight feet right there Ooh, okay, well, we retrieved the bait. Line is okay. Let's continue. Hopefully no more crazy surprises. Now, I will say this is kind of interesting. You got this concrete. Okay, so we've got concrete coming across. Then we've got this giant pipe right here. I'm assuming is that for sewage? You guys probably know better than me. Comment below, but I definitely know I'm going to drop a cast right here. Because that, to me, is structure and or cover. Alright, worth a shot. Let's continue. And I clipped the GoPro, we get bit. I have a feeling this is a sucker. Oh! Dude, it's the smallest largemouth bass of all time. Oh my goodness. I thought it was a sucker again, it's so small, but uh, we have bass activity in my creek. That's a good sign. This is like, dude, this one's gotta be very, very young. Four inches. Honestly, I might even say that's kind of big. This one looks pretty big to me. There you guys go. Not sure how many of you are in here, but uh, hopefully your mama's somewhere around here. Whoop, there she goes. All right, we've hit our goal of three species, but you know what? Let's make it five. I like to go for the gold and uh, Dude, I feel like there could be easily something crazy lurking out here. I mean, when we started, the creek did not look impressive at all. I mean, it basically just looked like this. But I mean, look at this. We're up here. Who knows how deep that is right there? That could be 8 or 10 feet deep right there. There could be a big catfish. You never know. All I know is that you ain't going to find out unless you get your line in the water. Let's do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fighting. Is it sucker? Sucker! Puh, in my mouth. Dang it, bro. Get out of here, little guy. Well, if you guys like action, definitely try fishing your local creeks. Throw a 164th ounce with a little tiny bait or just throw an inline spinner. Cause honestly, I'm getting more action on this inline. I've gotten three species on it. The little little maggot setup. I mean, I got I got a lot of suckers, but only one species. I think uh, I think the inline is far more interesting of a bait. Now there are a couple other things I'm thinking about throwing, but with this water clarity, cannot go wrong with the inline spinner. Oh yeah, yep, can't go wrong with it. Oh, new species, bro. Yo, Chris, we've got a pregnant toddler over here. Help. Oh my gosh, this is pregnant, right? This is pregnant, right? Dude, this is the youngest pregnant fish I've ever seen in my life. Yo, that's kind of messed up, man. Oh, there you guys go. Pregnant young fish, let her go. Go ahead and lace, make some babies. All right, this creek's getting kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I wanna keep fishing. Huh. This creek branches off that away. I'm not going to go that way today, but in the future, let me know if you guys want me to explore that direction of the creek. No idea where it goes, but we're just going to stay on the main creek today. This should be where the juicy juice is. 
All right, what do we got? And yes, that looks pretty juicy over there. Now we've got to somehow navigate this log jam. All right. Uh, that looks, that looks not very stable. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I want to put my full weight on that. Okay, dude, if that fell down, I would have been done. Woo! All right. Okay. Alley oop. Okay. Oh, we definitely gotta make some casts right here. My gosh, this looks juicy. This is what you want, by the way, guys. You wanna go through a bunch of shallow water? Then come through something that looks a little deeper. Oh, that was a bite. Probably a suck, but you never know. All right, slow and steady. Watch this, watch this. Bring it in and we got him, we're on. Yep, no surprise. No surprise, guys, but eventually we will find something different, don't you worry. Another little sucker. Okay, whoa, this could be dangerous. Hopefully it's not too deep in case I fall. Because it definitely feels like I might fall. You know what, let's try to do this safe way, guys. Ah, okay. All right, we, I can feel bottom. Yeah, that's very safe. Okay. All right. It, this is beautiful back here, look at this. I, they, <laughs> I feel like I'm in the deep woods of forest or something. Absolutely beautiful back here. Oh yeah. Oh, something different. Why are these some fish so fat? Dude, this is weird. All these sunfish look very young and they're all pregnant. I'm about to call this place Epstein's Creek. It's a little sus. Well, dude, look the way that thing flopped. All right, well, feels good to get something besides a sucker. Now, are there any big fish in here? Very possibly so. Ooh. First time I've seen grass in here. Oh, two different types of grass, as a matter of fact. Or the one, let's see. Woo! Dude, imagine if this creek, oh, there's little baby crawfish jumping on my hand. I don't know if you guys can see that. Imagine if this creek was filled with this stuff. It would be a bass paradise. But unfortunately, this is the uh, only stretch I've seen right here. Maybe there's more up here. Oh. Oh, oh that was a bass, dude. That was a little freaking bass. Come on, man. Dude, these bass are like super freaking young. Thought I was a sucker. Yep. Oh, this feels different. Oh, it's big. What is, oh, come on. Not a suck, not a suck, not a suck, not a suck. Oh my gosh, it's the king suck. Oh my gosh, guys. Yep, this is uh ooh, biggest sucker of the day. <sighs> Probably about eight inches or so. A lot of these in here. Dang it. Oh, what the? Dude, that is a freaking two foot fish right here. Guys, not kidding. There is an absolute mondo hanging out over there. <sighs> we are gonna get into a perfect casting angle. Yeah, I still got a visual on it. Okay. I'm on target. What is that fish? Didn't move on that cast. Let me try to make, I'm gonna try to way overshoot it. Ah, yes. Come on. Ooh, it's looking. It's looking. What the fudge is that? Dude, what is that fish? What the f is that, dude? Oof. Oh, okay. No, not the fish I was looking for. 
hands down, this has got to be the most beautiful sunfish I have ever seen. Look at those bright red fins. My goodness. Dude, that is gorgeous. Even on the top. Dude, this is like a flaming hot sunfish. What is this a pumpkin bee species? I don't know. That's awesome though. See you later, little guy. Sadly, I don't know what those monster fish were. It's, they swam upstream. I'm gonna try chasing them a little bit. Oh, Largy! Guys, we did it. This is the honey hole right here. Got the king suck, got beautiful sunfish, and we have largemouth number two. What's crazy is the sunfish in here appear to be bigger than the largies. Not sure why that is, but I hope you grow into a nice two or three pounder little guy. Thank you very much. Whoop. Woo! Feels good, man. The creek's pretty fun. Gonna definitely come back.